Good day, morning, or night, to whatever, to you out there, YouTube land. Hi, it's Adam, clogging up your subscription box with yet another video. But, I have to say that to my two fans out there, I have a bit of a surprise. As you know, in my last video, I referred to myself as Wand Master Coop. And, well, I'm going to show you why today. Yep, that's right. These are made by yours truly, and these are actually only four out of 30 some odd that I've made so far over the years. I actually probably will never stop making them. Uh, yes, I just imagined myself as a 30 year old making wands. Oh dear. Um, let's see. And I guess, well, let's go over each and every one of them one by one today, shall we? This one is starting us off. It's maple. It's 11 inches. Very unflexible. Uh, I imagine it would be good for transfiguration and hexes, and maybe moderate for cursing. This is actually one of the first wands I ever made. I think it would actually be a Death Eaters wand, probably. With just the way it looks, the scorched tip. It just looks like a dark wizard's wand. And he may have, um, what do you call it? Perfected it himself? Added his own little details like the tape for grip. And then maybe went to the wand maker, me, to get this. Oh, focus. Focus! Eh, cred. Why won't we camera focus? Well, to get the copper on it. I'll show it to you one last time. Very simple, but at the same time not. It's very kind of evil looking. I like it. Fun to hold. This next wand is also made of maple. It's... how long is it? <laughs> it's 14 and a quarter inches. It's very light and swishy. It's very unique to my collection of the wands because it's actually one of the few that I actually painted. I also decorated it, if you cannot tell, with hot glue. Hot glue is actually a really good technique for um, getting small details in that a normal that you would normally have a lot of wood cutting and skin cutting trying to get the details that you want into it. And just it's very unique, very nice. I like this wand. I don't know why, but I imagine it to be a girl's wand. I'm not really sure. But it reminds me of a mixture between Fleur's Wand and Ginny's. It's... Uh, let's go over the paint, shall we? Starts out dark gray at the handle, and gets lighter and lighter as you go to the tip. And it's just bespeckled, and the handle has a really cool twisty, swirly thingy in it. <laughs> yeah, twisty, swirly thingy. That sounds professional. Then... Kind of like vines, I guess. Not really. But that's that one. This next wand is what I believe to be spruce. Carved out of an actual branch. I'm proud of this wand because of the details that I put into it. The swirl on it. It is 12 and a half inches. And it is very light. And fragile would be a good word to use here. The handle is actually insanely comfortable. And... It's very fun to hold. Not sure what it would be good for, I never really thought of that. But, yeah, nice natural curvature and such. Yeah. And then this wand, the final wand for today, is very special to me. It's actually my own personal wand. It's also maple. It's 13 and a quarter inches, surprisingly light, and very comfortable for me to hold. I stained it. It's also made on a lathe, uh, a machine that spins the a wooden dowel around and you can carve it with 
special tools that gives it a very nice overall shape. Not much to say about it, except I do have something to say on the subject of it being my wand. It's quite interesting how wands can pick you, because I know the magic's not real, but it sure seems like it is some at times, because I make wands for friends and myself, and this is the wand that I really got connected to, but other friends' wands that I've made have completely not liked them, they've flown out of their hands, they've done everything possible that you could think a wand could do to make it seem like it does not like its owner. Yet, some of them that I've made have also been their best friend. It's kind of weird, but at the same time, as a Harry Potter fan, I really like that. And I think that's all I have for you today on Wands. But... <sighs> yeah, I have notes. Get over it. I'm new at this. So, that's all the ones that I really felt like showing to you today. They are, there are more wand videos to come. I know some people won't like them and I know some people will love them. Don't worry. I have other videos that I'll be posting, not just me, some nerd, talking about the wands that he makes. And, well, YouTube land, I guess this is Wand Master Coop saying bye-bye.